Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our demo here today in the main arena at Crufts 2020. What we are going to show you today is the work of the Lowland Rescue Dogs. So these are dogs that are all trained by their handlers to find lost and vulnerable missing people. So we're going to talk you through a little bit of how we train the dogs, two different types of dogs, air scenting dogs and then our ground scenting dogs. All of the dogs that you see here today are all pet dogs first and foremost. They belong to their owners. Their owners are volunteers with their local search and rescue team, of which we have 35 across the whole of the UK. All of the work that we do is voluntary. All of the teams are charities and they raise money to fund the work that they do. We're called out by the police and the police will call us free of charge to the police we will go and help them with the searches that they get. We've got lots of different sizes of um, breeds of dogs. Uh, any dog really can, uh, can do it. It's great fun for them. And we're gonna just give you a little bit of a demo today of how we train the dogs for the work that you're gonna see them do. So the very first thing that we teach the dogs, uh, the air set of dogs, is a little game of piggy in the middle. So what you're going to see is that the dogs are going to go with their handlers and they've each got a person who's acting as a missing person. And they're going to get the dogs confident running backwards and forwards between the handler and the missing person. Sometimes they'll get their reward from the handler, sometimes they'll get their reward from the missing person. And that's just to teach the dogs that running backwards and forwards between these two people is really important because that's the end game. We want them to go to find, to tell their handler and then to take their handler back. So this is the very first basic stage of that. Once the dogs are happily doing that, we'll use as many different people as we can. We then go on to what's called a scene runaway. So then you'll see that the handlers will hold the dogs and the missing people are gonna come and they're gonna take that dog's reward. We'll use balls, toys, food, whatever is suitable for that dog and they'll run off, teasing the dog, duck themselves into the tent. We have to use a little bit of imagination here because obviously we can't hide them anywhere. And the dog will run up to that person and they will get their reward for finding them. So they just do that in lots of different locations, lots of varying terrain, in woods, on heath, out around um, quiet sort of car parks and things like that. And then they'll move on to an unseen runaway. So the, the handler will turn the dog around whilst the person disappears, and then the handler will send the dog to go and find the person. And again, they're getting lots and lots and lots of reward from the handler uh, or from the missing person, so that they really start to build a really good confidence going to the person. Once they have mastered that, they then will move on to do the alert stage. So we're just gonna let them finish the ones that they're on, and then we're gonna show you some alerts. So we use for missing people as many people as we can, different ages, different, uh, different sexes of people, so that they're getting used to finding men, women, children, older people, and um, getting the dogs really confident between everybody. So once the dog has found the missing person, we need to know that they've found that person. Now, each of the dogs will have a different alert. We tend to work with what, what works for that dog, what they do naturally. So we're gonna show you these individually so you can see each of the different variations, and then we'll get them all to run through it again. So Rose gonna go first with um, Otto the lab over here. Now, Rose Alert is a bring cell. So Otto has a little strap that you can see she's holding up. That hangs down from his collar whilst he's working. She's going to send him to find his person. And what you'll see is that when he's found that person, if you watch him, you'll see that he picks it up with his mouth and he comes back carrying it in his mouth. There we go. Uh, so you can see that that's how he indicates to Ro that he has found his missing person and then she gives him a nice big reward for doing a lovely alert to tell her that he's found them. Yes, good, round of applause is very much needed there, well done. So over the back we have Jophy and uh, she is going to do a stand over bark alert. 
So she's going to let her go. When she finds her missing person, Inca is going to give some, several, there we go, several loud barks. And Gus is joining in in the middle as well. And she's, that's how she lets Jofi know that she has found a person. So she will stay with the person and bark with them. Okay, so next we have Rich and Sassy. Now, Sassy is a little collie, and she's going to do a jump-up alert. So she's going to go up and find her person. There's lots of nice food in here. Uh, and when you're the age that Sassy is, you're allowed to be a little bit naughty. <laughs> she's retired now. She's been a very, very, very long serving dog. So she found her person, came back, jumped up at Rich to tell him that she has found. Okay, so next we have Wendy, and her dog's alert is a bark, but rather than staying with the dog, Hattie is gonna come back to Wendy, and she's gonna bark at Wendy, so Wendy knows that, oh, okay, she's found somebody. So she goes in, she finds, she comes back, she gives her a nice big bark, and she gets her alert for doing that. So we're gonna let them all go once more, just because um, it's nice to see them all going together, so pick your favorite and watch them, or watch somebody different. So they're all getting lots of reward at each of the stages of their training. So they're getting rewarded for the alert at this point. Good. So once they've mastered that, they need to do what's called the refine. So they find the person, they've come back, they've told us that they've found somebody. And then they need to go and take the handler to the person. So we're just going to swap, swap a couple of dogs out. So you will see... Uh, that they will set their dog off, they're going to let their dog go, uh, they'll find the person, they'll do what their alert is, and then you'll see the handlers beckon to them, sort of ask them, what is it, or where are they, show me, uh, and the dog will take them back to the person, and they will reward the dog back with the person, so that that's the end game, and when we were doing the piggy in the middle right at the beginning, the running backwards and forwards between the two people, that's why that's an important foundation skill for them. So they're just going to run through it again, so you can see. <laughs> so you can see we've got different, uh, different types and breeds of dogs. Um, oh, did this? <laughs> and all working for their reward. So it may be food that they like, it may be toys that they like, but all having a really big, good game about it. Finding their person, telling their handler, taking them back. And once they've got all the foundations in place, then obviously we will work on just extending the time and the distance that they're searching for before they find the people. And it takes between 12 and 18 months to train an air scenting dog up to full operational capacity. So those are our very clever and very wonderful air scenting dogs. What we are going to show you next is a couple of our ground scenting dogs. Now, the dogs that you've just seen, the air scenting dogs, they are trained to find any human scent. So in an area that they're searching in the woods or the fields and things, uh, where there might be several people, they don't know which person they're looking for. So they're going to go along and find any person. The, the dogs that you're about to see, the ground scenting dogs, are what we call scent discrimination dogs. So first of all, the first thing that we teach them is to find the right person. So to to take the scent and find the person that that scent belongs to. So I've got my hat in my pocket here that I've been wearing earlier today. So this smells of me. I'm gonna pop it on the floor here and then I'm gonna go and sit along amongst these people. And Diesel is gonna come along and he's gonna check each of the people and hopefully when he finds me, he's gonna stop with me and, um, and alert his handler, Jan, to the fact that he's found me. So I'm gonna put this here. Uh, so Jan can turn him around so he can't see where I'm going. I'm going to pop that there and he'll come up and along the people and I'm going to go a bit further down on the end here so that he's got to come past these people. <laughs> okay, so we're all in place. So you can see that Jan comes. She lets him have a little sniff of the hat and then she's going to take him... Oh, she's going that way. I'm going to move. Oh, that's fine. <laughs> so he's going to go along the people up there. Uh, and what you should see is that he goes past them. He might have a little sniff of them. 
uh, check them out, but he'll show no interest in staying with them. Uh, and hopefully when he gets to me, you'll see that he stops and he doesn't want to go any further. And he will then get his, he turns to Jan and then gets his reward from Jan for finding the right person. Okay, so the next stage from that, once the dogs are learning how to discriminate scent, is that then we can lay an actual trail for them. So Bert, who is a black and tan coon hound, is just coming in over there with his handler, Simon. And Elle here is gonna go, she's gonna place the scent article down by one of the heights. And then if you watch where she walks, she will, uh, we will know where she's gone. She's gonna follow, uh, follow along and hide herself in one of the heights. Simon's gonna come up around this way so that he's out of the way. Uh, he'll take Bert to the scent article, just the same as you saw Jan do with Diesel. He'll take the scent from that, and then he will follow the trail that Elle has left, okay? Now, bearing in mind how many dogs and people have been in here over the course of the last few days, that's quite a specialist skill, that he can pick out a certain scent, and he can follow that and where that's gone. And then when he finds Elle, he will get his reward for finding her. So he takes the scent. Hounds are really good for this kind of work because they, um, they've got really great noses and their ears help channel the scent. And you'll see that he works with his head down on the floor because he's following the trail that's been left. They don't have to be right on top of it like footfall for footfall because there will be some air movement moving it around. But you can see that he's got the general idea of that she went down there, she turned along there, He's following it along on the nice smelly carpet. And when he gets to her, he will get his reward for finding her. So a big round of applause for Bert as well. Brilliant. OK, so that is a very short overview of the work that we do. If you are all interested in learning more about what we do, making a donation, finding out how you can get involved. Even if you haven't got a dog, there's plenty of opportunity for you to get involved. We do all sorts of uh, water rescue, flood response, um, work with drones and things. So if you haven't got a dog or a dog of an age that you think would be suitable, you can still get involved yourself as a volunteer with Lowland Rescue. We've got a stand.